This is the time. No. This is the timestamp. This is the timestamp. Um. Yeah, I've had a lot to drink. <laughs> Can we agree? Suicide is not the answer. Can we agree verbally? Can we agree? No. All right. All right. I'll I'll do it as soon as you guys leave then. <laughs> quick and quick vote from the people that I've probably manipulated into liking me. Um. Do you think that I'm a good person? Raise of hands if you do. I'm going to have to admit that I do as well. Yes. This is the squad. Or is this just my fucking cult? Am I, am I the manipulative asshole that they say that I am? Or that I'm just full out. We can't ask them. We can't, Look, she's shaking her head. We can't ask them, though. No, they first don't. I was nodding. Oh. <laughs> Can we get do one more vote on whether I'm an asshole from my cult, little cult here? Uh, raise your hands if I'm an asshole. So, uh, let's just suppose, please, for this video that I'm not. You're probably going to see these two as my minions, but they're real people. And um, they're real people who have gotten to know me. And she's looking at me like I'm her cult leader. I mean, no. She's not looking at me like I'm her cult leader, but the fact that she's looking at me makes me makes you think, right, I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> um... Yeah, a lot's changed since then, um, as you can see, and I really need to sort of move on from some of the things that have happened. Um, turns out that, uh, and I probably should have should have known from the tepid responses at the beginning of from the clips that you saw at the beginning of this video, but um, now it doesn't turn out. Jesus Christ. Um, I was going to make a, I basically, I, uh, one of those two people know. ended up deciding that I was, actually, I was emotionally abusive, and that was the worst or the second worst night of my life. I don't know. Um, it was a pretty bloody night as well. Um... Yeah, that really, that really messed me up. Um, and so I was going to make a, a video where I sort of explore it. And do you understand why it messed me up? It was because the person that, because all these people have been telling me something. Um, not the people closest to me, but enough people to get me to go, shit, am I doing this? Am I this manipulative, whatever? And then when one of the people who told me that I wasn't uh, came back and said that actually I was emotionally abusing them, that was really hard. And I was going to make a video telling the story so that you could really understand why it drove me to the place that it drove me. Um, how things got so dark for me. But of course, I would have been from my perspective. No, 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 stop. Jesus, I keep doing this. Um... It's such an easier narrative that I'm the one who's, for me even, to believe, uh, and this is what makes me very different from you people, uh, is that I can easily believe, I would prefer to believe that I am wrong and everybody else is right. That makes sense, especially when it comes to being wrong about yourself. Um, I would prefer to believe that, that I am somehow manipulating people and I don't care about people and somehow just don't realize it because I'm biased and trying to protect myself. Um, and that other people are right and that they see the truth, you know, uh, the people who, some of whom were close to me. Um, and that, and that's why it killed me because I, uh, that's, that's, I'm, I'm partial to believing other people about myself. Um, and I think that people should be, look, we're going to do, I'm actually going to do a number of videos about this, about trust and skepticism. But the point of this video is, one, to introduce you to all that, and two, to say, I don't think I'm going to tell the story. Um, believe what you want. But you're going to anyway. That's what people do. Um, you're never going to really have enough evidence. You're not going to have any evidence that I was emotionally abusive. You're not going to be able to sort of explain exactly what made me emotionally abusive. But don't worry. <laughs> 
uh, nobody will need that evidence because they will have that same perspective. You can say to them, yeah, that Ares guy, just, I don't like him. Pretty sure he's trying to put people down and all that. And they'll say, yeah, I got the same. Enough said. I got it. And um, honestly, to all of you, fuck you. Um, we're going we're gonna to do some videos exploring skepticism, trusting the self, trusting others, uh, beliefs. But what I learned from this is that, it, well, I won't say for sure. Um, but this was an extremely sort of dark and difficult period, and I've come out a much, a much better man. So, um, I refuse to protect myself enough and say, you know, no, no, no matter what, if somebody says something negative about me, I won't believe it. I refuse to be like most people. Um, but what I've learned is not about believing people. It's about just looking at the evidence. And of course, knowing that you're biased when you evaluate the evidence. Ah, enough said. Eris and I have an interesting relationship, but never have I thought that he was an asshole, a terrible person, or whatever, even if I do say so sometimes to him. It's just because I'm upset, but I never... Doesn't matter what I think of you. I know it shouldn't. Well, that's how you helped me. I learned to. To not care about what people think of you. Basically. Good night. Do you still have love for me, though?